Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Play. I'm here with Ben. And today we're going to be throwing down some Ragnarok. Heavy Metal Combat in a Viking Age. Um, Osprey's uh, multiplayer, two-player, solo-player, skirmish, assault, murder Malifoe Viking, Malifoe. Yeah, like campaign game. So um, Tim Korkluski wrote this. This is a... Uh, an homage, basically, to all great Led Zeppelin songs. Yeah. Hey, Drazel has fallen, the world trees collapsed through the realms, all the realms are like mashed together now. Yeah, the, all dra the dragon underneath got away, and that's right. not going to get any of the names right. So. No, we're not going to try to pronounce the names, because yeah. it would just be a horrible insult to, to all, all Norse mythology. Um, but that's basically where your war clans find themselves, uh, and the gods themselves are shattered into pieces, and their sparks are basically laying around the realm. So you're collecting sparks, becoming more powerful, and it reminds me a bit of, what was that weird Forgotten Realms? Time. Remember when all the gods become mortal really for a little bit? Books, like the water deep book and all that. That's right, the water deep book. They all become mortal for a while. Time of troubles or something. Like I that. think it was time of troubles. That's right. Yeah, where all of, like all of the gods become mortal for a little bit, and some like some of them get replaced by humans. Some of them get replaced by other gods. Tyr killed Mesa uh, Tyr, on the stairs. And then Tyr dies, and and that guy Helm Halfhand or whatever becomes. Yeah, somebody can move. I thought Tyr. It was Tyr I don't remember. So I think no, Tyr actually dies. Tyr gets killed defending a city. One of them killed. Okay, we're going with the Forgotten Realms now. <laughs> we're totally off topic at this point. <laughs> That's right. Got, we've got to read some time in the troubles. Right. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to show you our war clans. Um, go through the basic process of assembling a war clan, our war clan, and then we're going to play a basic clash mission um, where we fight for the dominant. Yeah, I guess spot it's on a hill. Clash of Champions. Clash of Champions. You got a couple games in. I'll get a starting yeah. war band. We'll see how I'm this way goes. way better than you. It should be very one -sided. It's going to be great. I'm going to so. charge in and, and ask things questions. So anyway, we'll <laughs> show you the table, show you the mission, get this underway. All right, so here's all the paperwork ready to go for our first game of Ragnarok. Now, Ragnarok's a fairly simple sliding scale core mechanic. Um, if two stats are tied when you oppose a stat, uh, it's a seven plus, so it's always on a bell curve. And then if it's one less, like if you're attacking someone with a higher armor, let's say your strength is, I don't know, five and their armor is six, it would be one different. So you'd need to roll something um, uh, slightly worse. So an eight plus instead of a seven plus. And it goes back and forth like that. So opposing stat checks are basically the core mechanic of the game. Now, it uses an action point on the profile. You have a speed, which is how far you move for your action points. Most people have about two actions, making this fairly similar to a game like, oh, let's say Malifaux or Dark Age um, in its, uh, its use of action points. Then you've got your melee, which is your melee stat. Again, if you're opposing someone in melee, take your stats, do an opposed stat check, roll dice. Uh, range stat, same things against their defense. Resilience, basically your toughness. Uh, you do strength versus resilience, trying to hurt somebody. And then drive, that's like your mental fortitude, basically, for like being good at being brave and opposing things. Mind is for um, when you're being uh, attacked with magic or, you know, psionic attacks or whatever, psychic attacks. And then your hit points is how many times you can hit before you die. So it's a pretty simple core system. Uh, and when you start first start playing, you're gonna collect some miniatures. Now, the nice thing about uh, this game is when you build your war clan, there's very little restriction on what you build. So you can see here on the left, my war clan, led by Hood there. This is um, my sort of like quasi fantasy Norse war band. All made with Reaper miniatures. I had no trouble equipping them. There's no restrictions. Anyone can have armor, anyone can have a shield, anyone can have a weapon. It's just take what you want and put it on there. So what I have is I have Hood, my Jarl in the middle there. He's got an Ulfbird, which is like just a really well mastercrafted sword. Uh, heavy armor and a shield, and he's ready to rock and roll. Uh, then he's got two Berserkers. We have the Death Dealer and we have Boris in the flank there. They have great weapons and leathers. Uh, we have two, sorry, three Huskarls. Uh, <coughs> sorry, one here with a great weapon and leathers, another with a great weapon and leathers, and a third one with a bow, a dagger, and leathers. And then finally I have my Scald, who gives me some tactician abilities. Um, they have a skill called tacticians like the leader has to do like double activates, like a chain activation. Um, and it's just handy for like getting to go twice and do alpha strikes and stuff. Now I had 800 glory to spend on this and that glory is basically then erased from my roster and all the glory you earn after this is basically your, your rating for your warband. Um, the Jarl's about 160, so I think he's 260 with all his gear. Um, the average Huskarl, who's just like a dude, is um, 60 plus their gear, so I think mine all float around 100. And my Berserkers, they don't wear a lot of armor, so they're, they're fairly cheap, they're about 102, but they start off around 80. Um, and that's my 800 uh, renowned warband. Now Ben's warband, you might notice, <laughs> includes some crazy stuff. He's got a priest, um, he's got a couple of Berserkers, sorry, El Berserker, uh, some, I think, just regular Huskarls there with spears and shields. Um, he's got his Jarl here. I think it's a lovely, it's either Redbox or Hasselfree. Who made that one? Is it Redbox? Um, I don't remember. It's, uh, no, it's uh, the one Lord of War does with the big miniatures now. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. And then this is Black definitely... Sun. Black Sun. Black Sun, yeah. Your, uh, your Berserker is definitely a Hasselfree mini. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. It's one of the big big Boris Berserker so, guys. Yeah, so Jarl. Yep. Uh, that's actually a Huskarl. Oh, not a Berserker, okay. Well, it will be eventually when I get the right one painted. Got it. Uh, Gothy, 
and then four Bondi, and then my Earth Elemental. Cool, and the Earth Elemental, now when, when you kill a monster, random monsters, five random monsters potentially could show up uh, over the course of the game, but if you defeat one, you get to recruit it. Yep. Basically, you tame them and, and keep them. And so you killed Earth Elemental early in the campaign, and that means you've got it in your warband now. Who's this little guy? Is he the scout? Oh, that's my spy Speedler. Speedler, spider. that's right. I and, always say Spider, but... Yeah, and, the, and those are the basic classes you can get in the in the game. Now, there's also Bondi. I don't think any of us took Bondi. Nope, Bondi. That's the cannon fire guys. There, I oh, all of them are Bondi. We didn't take the Scald. You didn't, you didn't take a have. Scald. I have a Scald. You have, yeah. you have Bondi instead. That's right. So I have Hoskarls and uh, a Yarl, Berserkers, and a Scald, and then you've got some Bondi. A spider, a gothi, and uh, a single husk girl. And an earth elemental, because why not? If you picture 800 glory with the guys, you have to randomly start with three god sparks. Those are the ones that you're, you're basically building your warband around. You don't get to pick them though, you gotta roll for them. Uh, there's some handy cards on the Facebook group that I printed off here. But as I've just checked off the ones I have. So when I first rolled, it's a DCC6 chart, and I managed to find. Oh, I put the wrong one over here. <laughs> I put off two of these. The ones I found were, and Neil and Know Your Place. So I have a 36 inch range uh, knockdown. It cost me nine Godspark to do. I can also spend one extra Godspark to boost its range and knockdown by one uh, for each one I spend. That's how much you have to spend over the course of the game. Now you earn Godspark for doing cool stuff during the course of the game, which we'll explain as we set up and start playing. Um, and nine's quite a bit actually. So it means that I'm kind of like hulking out to, to try and do it. And if I want to really make it good and up the knockdown, um, it would be quite a, quite a bit of like my side to, to go ahead and do it but it's a cool ability it's basically just be like neil he does the he does the loki thing where he flies in and he's like he, people should kneel and then captain america kicks his teeth in um i got walking up to snow it cost me six spark uh there's no boost and it's just i can go through terrain uh, as if i'm acrobat so basically if i was trying to like climb these walls go up the sides and stuff uh it wouldn't uh slow me down and stop me when i go through difficult terrain and then my last one which is pretty cool is i got touch of life which is a healing spell at range so I can basically use the healing ability um, up to 12 inches away. I get the healer or patch if I'm going up against undead. Um, I can also use it point blank in self, so I can use it while I'm engaged, I'm pretty sure, and I can use it on myself if I want to as well. And it costs eight god spark to put back a hit point basically on somebody, but I can also boost it for one extra one to add six to the range, so I can get up to 18 away. Now Ben has a whole pile of God Sparks because he's played um, a bunch of games, four to five games, and he gets one basically after each game. Um, and we'll go through those when he actually starts activating them. But basically God Sparks will allow you to use the spark that you generate during the course of the game to buy extra actions uh, that you can do. So like my um, Touch of Life one, it doesn't actually heal anyone in itself, but it gives the person doing that God Spark the ability to spend actions to heal later on. Uh, and yeah, that's our God Spark. So we're gonna get a snare ready. We're gonna play Bloody Contest. It's a duel of champions. Uh, building a reputation as the champion of your war clan brings great fame and admiration to your peers. This praise comes at a price, however, when an enemy war clan's own champion calls you out for being a coward. It's time to show them you've earned your legend. And this battle is the final arbiter on who deserves the title of greatest champion. Not of a scenario. Um, you basically get uh, players earn victory points by completing major and minor objectives. When the game ends, the player with the most VPs wins. The VPs are earned in the completing the following ways. So major victory conditions, one VP, in addition to the three for the minor victory. Minor victory conditions give you three VPs. Second objective is give you one per, and each scenario lasts for six rounds. So we'll have our six round dice out here. At the end of the six round, tie up all the VPs for each player and note which secondary objective they've completed. If there's no clear victory because of the tie for the highest VP, uh, play a seventh round. If there's still no clear victory, then the game ends in a draw. Now there can be objectives on the table. They're typically 40 mil markers, um, and certain secondaries will interact with them. If you roll for deployment style, and we roll a five, which is gonna be spearhead. Uh, and Spearhead, I mean, uh, is a nine inch corner to corner. Sorry, Spearhead is actually, you're in the center of the table within nine, basically, but it's still an imaginary line across the middle. And then we roll our secondaries right now before we do our deployment of the uh, terrain in the table. Your secondary table is a bit like a scheme pool in Malifaux. You roll 2d6, uh, you have the results, the three, the six, and then you have evens and odds. Uh, so, for instance, I got always, which is hold your ground. Uh, that's you have the most, um, if no enemy or encounter model in your battlefield is in your battlefield portion, score objective. So at the end of the game, I'll get one for uh, having someone not in my half of the table. That's uh, just pushing people back. Um, and then we got a even, so steal yourselves. At the end of the game, if more than 50% of your war clan points is still alive, score it. Uh, slaughter them all. At the end of the game, if you killed more war clan points than your enemy has of yours, score objective. And then I got a three, which is sorry, I have three and a six, three six nine. So sorry, I actually don't have steal myself because the sum is the the thing we're looking for evens and odds on, which is a nine. So I actually have slaughter them all. So I have my, my always hold your ground. I have slaughter them all as odds. At the end of the game, uh, kill more war clan points than my opponent. And then I've got three six and nine. So three is claim this land. 
may spend an EP in base contact with the train elements uh, to uh, on your opponent's portion of the table, place a conquest token on it, place a conquest to base space token. Any train element can have one con conquest token. An enemy model can remove it for one AP at the end of the game if you have three conquest tokens um, on three terrain elements in your opponent's half of the table. I score this portion. And then I have six and nine. Marked for death. When a base space contact with an enemy warrior, no enemy model has mark of Nid. A friend of warrior may give one AP to give them the mark of Nid. If you kill them with the mark of Nid, they score this objective. So basically, I'm marking somebody and killing them. And then nine, sheer brutality. One friendly warrior must kill two enemy warriors or encounter models in one activation in order to get the secondary objective. Roll CD6 now, and we add his to the pool. So you got a. So we ignore the six because we already have it. And you got an 11 which and a is, five. Which is an up. And, uh, and an odd and an even. So we get even now, which is still yourselves. We get five, which is vengeance for the fallen kin. Uh, the first time a friendly warrior is killed by an enemy warrior, mark that enemy warrior if you successfully kill them with a Vendetta token on them. In the next two rounds, you get this as a secondary. If you fail to kill them, remove the marker. Next time an enemy warrior kills a friendly, then that new Vendetta token gets put out. Uh, and then you got total of 11, which is respect the fall. At the end of any round, if you have three more friendly fighters in base contact with three or more different objective markers, you score the objective. So you're trying to go prey to the stones, basically. And now we can each pick two of these, right? Our setup is ensure that at least uh, three by three area in the middle of the battlefield is completely clear terrain. Uh, three inch by three inch, which it is. We've got a big platform up here to fight on. Uh, these are the champion stage. After determining deployment zones, but before deployment, each player takes turns placing objective markers on the battlefield until there's two objective markers for each player. You cannot place objectives within eight of a deployment zone, four of a table edge, or another objective. Or on the champion stage, objectives in the scenario size two and have the keywords impassable and impaled. After determining the deployment zones before the battle uh, begins, each player chooses a friendly model to be their champion. You're in a battle praise for each warrior or encounter model for your champion kills outside of a deployment zone. If your champion kills an opposing champion, they earn four, four battle praise instead of one. If your champion kills a warrior uh, or encounter model with a deployment zone, they earn one additional battle praise. If your champion uh, kills a warrior or encounter model with a champion stage, they earn two extra battle praise. If your champion dies, the next closest friendly model becomes your next champion. So. A minor victory condition, you get three VPs as long as you're winning, you have more battle praise. And then your major victory condition is end the game with more battle praise than your opponent and have at least five more battle praise in the next highest score. And that'll earn you an extra VP to four. Let's off right now and place our objectives. I got a two. You got a one. All right, so I'll place the first one and put it right there. All right, so here's our four objectives all deployed. Um, and the last thing we have to get ready is our monster pool. And this is an optional rule that basically you pick up to five monsters and they all are assigned a turn number. Um, and at the end of every uh, round, so the end of round one, you're going to see if they arrive. You roll the die and add the turn number, and if it's an eight or more, sorry, it's the end of turn two, it could arrive. Yeah. So you, if you basically, on turn two, you roll a six, a monster arrives. Uh, on turn three, a five, four, three, two, on turn six, or turn five, rather. Um, and then they just arrive in the battlefield and start murdering stuff. Now, this is how you get to hire monsters into your warband. So, if you want to have monsters in your warband, you want to play with this additional monster rule. And what we have is we have a demon worm, a giant, a demon wolf, a draugr, and a troll. Last thing we're going to have to keep track of is God Spark. You basically get God Spark to spend your uh, God Spark powers, which you can do anytime. Anytime you exceed a roll to hit. Um, in melee, to hit with shooting, to do a mind attack, to make an armor roll, anything, anything but damage, anything but damage and, status. and status. There you go. So, uh, every point that you beat what you need by, so let's say I needed to roll a 5 plus, I rolled a 6, I'm going to get one god spark for doing that. So every time you exceed it, like if I need a 5 plus and I rolled a, well that's a snake, that's bad. If I rolled a, there we go, a 7, I'd get 2 god spark. And then that god spark can be spent any time to activate your god spark powers. Some god spark powers, like touch of life, I'm going to do when I'm activating, because there's no point in me giving it to someone when they can't then immediately use it. But certain things like upping your resistance or doing more attacks, you can do midway through something. You can even do it during your opponent's turn if someone's hitting you. It's not for deployment. I got a four, you get a one. I'm gonna pick this corner right here and place my first, I think I do my whole warband, don't I? Yeah. Before we deploy, we choose our champions, we're both gonna do our bosses, and they're gonna earn praise for murdering things. Now we're deployed, so I got Hood along with the Death Dealer and Boris. Uh, then we have the my my three Huskarls and my Scald ready to rock and roll. You've got your Speeder out here, ready to, to ambush, because he's got the, I think it's the Concealment rule? Yeah, Concealment and Stealth. So. Wants them to go way out of the deployment zone, not in my half of the table. And then you have your Earth Elemental, your Boss, uh, your Huskarl in the middle, your Four Bondi, and your Gothi. All deployed within that 9-inch bubble from the Table. Dice 2 goes first. Um, the structure is fairly reminiscent of most alternate activation games where each of us will take turns activating a model, they do their AP, spend AP to move, uh, make an action like a ranged attack or a melee attack, and then lastly, the last thing you can do is once per turn every model can clash 
And that's an attempt to go before someone else who's activating against you. So someone strikes you in melee, say, I'm going to clash. You do a drive versus drive test. Like my berserkers are really good at clashing because they have a drive of four each. So if you try and attack them, they're probably gonna hit you first. And the like, problem is your defense goes down by one after you clash. The bosses can do it with ranged attacks, which is pretty cool. This office is going first. Take that, you roll the same as me. Ah, you can go fine. first. Now, oh, I get to go first? Oh, I, I do, do I? I don't want to. That's, I would assume that you didn't. <laughs> We're gonna go with my Huskarl, uh, who's hanging out here with a uh, just a U bow. And there's speed five, and then I'm gonna take a walk. So walk action, speed five, uh, going over here. And then walk action again, my second AP, going five, and heading over here. Just ready to shoot some Bondi. He's done, so it's over to you. Okay, I'm good to go. Go for it. So my Bondi is just gonna double walk, just like Malifaux. Scoot right over to there. Well, we're gonna go with Death Dealer. Uh, he's a Berserker, which means when he starts fighting, he basically has to keep fighting or he gets tired. He's gonna double move after your Bondi, going this way. Back to you. Just gonna double walk over Gonna there. walk over there with some spears. Yep. We're gonna go with a Huskarl, and we're just gonna start moving and head around here. Five. With a great, great sword, and then five again. What makes a sword great? It's you. I actually the speedler. He's gonna fire at this guy. You here. realize that I'm running away from him. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> so trying to shoot about what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, take a shot. Yep. So your defense is. Uh, my defense is berserker. Uh, defense berserker means one. He's so, pretty bad. So my attack is three. That's right. So I'm two over. Two so better. So, so five. seven, six, five. Yep. But I'm over half my range, so six. So six minus one. So. Failed! I'll Fabulous! I'll fire again. Because you have two AP. Yep. So, hit. But just by zero, so no God Spark earned. Yep, so now we compare the strength of the bow to. My resilience? Yep. No, my. Yeah, yeah my resilience. resilience. So I'm resilience two plus one for my leather armor, which is three. So I need an eight. Laughs in Berserker. Done! And so you did not damage me, and that means that I am okay. Maybe now we go deal with him. Mm. Do we just go up the middle? Yeah, Maybe it's a clever plan to sucker you out to the side. I mean, it's entirely possible. I think you're uh, enough to know that there are no clever plans. There are no clever plans. We're going to go three, six of the first AP, and then we're going to go th oops, three, six, and just be like, this is my house. Zerk, he's coming for you. All right, I'm going to send a Huskarl up to deal with him. I'm into it. Neither of us are wearing shirts in the freezing cold. You are apparently already turning blue. Okay. And again, we're going to go with the boss. The boss is movement five. So he's only gonna go 10, so he's gonna go through, I'm just gonna count it all. Three, six, nine, and one. That puts me here. And then do I charge him? Heck yeah, I do. Get him, fella. My second move was actually gonna be a charge then, because I get plus three to my movement, and that means that I'll actually make it in with a second action, and I get to make a swing. Clash me. I'm gonna clash it, because that might suck. What's your drive? My drive is, oh, this guy hurt his brain earlier, so two. That's three. So needing a eight. Gets it. So I'm gonna take a swap Wizard. first. Do it. Uh, melee three. I am melee three as well. So seven, seven plus. Got me. And that's gonna give me a god spark. You get one, yep. So damage, strength three. I am resistance four because of my heavy armor. So eight. Looks like a no. So, okay. But now I'm down to defense. So your defense goes down by one. So I'm down to two now. And I get to hit you. Uh, so my melee is three. What's your melee? Uh, my my defense is or three. Your defense is three. Oh, my defense is also three. So we were actually the same last time. And so what is your... Um, and your plus one strength now is the charge. Plus one strength. So I'm strength four. And your defense is actually right. two right now as well. Yeah. Your defense is two because you just did the alpha strike. Yep. I go from a seven plus to a six plus I need to hit. Okay. So I'm going to earn... A lot of da a lot of God Spark, so six God Spark from that, and then uh, I'm damaged four right now. Resilience five. And what happens to you, box car? No, nothing. Okay, so um, a lot of God Spark. A lot of God Spark. So uh, I have the lethal ability on my Oof Burst, which means that when I roll to damage you, normally for every two points you succeed by, you do a hit point in damage. Sorry, three points you succeed by, you do a point of damage. Um, I'm gonna do one to one because my Oof Burst is lethal. Five. Strength five against resilience five. How's that guy resilience five? Uh, heavy armor, 
and uh, heavy armor. <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> <That's Yeah. my, laughs> <he's fucked. laughs> what I see is not what I get. I guess it's just his abs of steel. Not the right his model. steely that's abs. He's that's right. Yeah, he's got he's got the. the I tense. He's swollen as hell. He's tense enough to take the blow. All right, so I do a seven plus two damage. Yeah. There's nine. So that's, so that's two wounds. Yep. So and he's, he's down. just dead. He's just dead. <laughs> and I earn uh, praise for that. Three praise for doing it on the champion stage, and it's back over to you. Back to you. Back to me. So now he's downed. If there isn't a friendly healer within six at the end of the turn, he'll go to dead. Yeah, which is my goth. So. Right. So if I overkill him, though, does he die die? No, you can't hit him on the ground. So. Sweet. Okay. He can't be touched. So he's got to kill that gothy then. So I'm basically going to do the exact same thing. Yeah, my then charge. Up and then charge. So. Go get him. So now I could also do a attempt to drive and hit you first. So it's drive versus drive. You're drive four on the charge. I'm drive three. I think I still do it. You're all for me if I don't, so I might as well try and do this. So I need to roll an eight plus. Negative. That's two. Melee five. That's your, you would hit me. Actually, it, didn't, it made no difference. Well, okay. slight difference. So you're going to be on six fives. And five, five against five two. Your two is three over. So oh, sorry. Yeah, six, six five, five four three. Yeah, six five four. Low. Plus uh, four Godsburg. Yep. And then I'm resistance still of five four. Uh, my all shard is a magic Alfbert, so it is strength five right now. Sweet. And so six because of the charge. So six. So you need uh, seven six five. Whoa! He doesn't wound. Let's go with the Scald, uh, and she's just going to start running up. She's going to go 10, so 8 and then 2. Yep, defense, up to here. Defense all. Def go, 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 go. Walk, and walk. And he has heal? He does have heal. So. Oh, right. Let's kill that guy then. And then we're going to go with her, and she's going to go 10 as well. So she's just going to go 8 and then 2, and hang out with friends. Well, you, I'm done. So you've got uh, your 2 Bondi and your Earth Elemental. Come up and in the circle. Making friends, and then Mr. Earth Elemental. Let me go over here and play with these guys. Ooh. Now it looks like turn. So we are on. We go to the end phase. End phase. Uh, and we have to see if a monster shows up. So on a six, it's the murder worm still arrives. Still didn't show up. We had the turn. Oh, turn two. That's yeah, right. So yeah, it yeah. can only show up on turn on two. On turn two. Well, end phase things that matter. I don't have any objections to score on the end Close phase. Enough that he hasn't taken off. So. Cool. Well, I guess we are dicing off now for round two then to see who's going first. I currently have three praise because I managed to slash kill that one guy. Let's see what's happening. I got five. I can go first. Well, I think we're gonna go with El Champion. And yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna make the chimichangas. Oh. Let's make the stabs. If we're gonna stab uh, your boss here, you're gonna try and hit me first. Of course. Okay. It's, a, uh, it's an Alfred. So I am. It's an, it's an Alfred fight. Yep. We both have awesome magical swords. So uh, you are drive four right now because you're not charging. Three. Three. So I'm drive three as well. Yep. So seven plus. No, I'm All into right, well, it. Now the defense is way down. All right. So now your, your defense is two now. Yep. So I'm melee three. So oh, I no, sorry. His defense is up. He's defense three. He's three. Not really so we're so seven plus instead of an eight plus. He's right advanced. Now. <laughs> okay. So seven plus. See if we can hit you. Huh. Nope, we miss. We'll try again. Box cars. All right, so I'm gonna get five more God Spark. Now I think if now I you can instantly start so, pulling out. So what I'm gonna do is before I do my damage roll, I'm gonna do kneel and know your place, because then I'll knock you down with this hit. You damage. I won't do if I do that. I won't do any damage. Yeah, there's no point in me doing that just, actually. Like, touches forehead with yeah. This is and, why Jeff hates it. And this is this is now I guess me just hitting you. So I have strength of four. For its strength three, resilience is six. Six. So I need to roll a Jesus seven, uh, eight, nine, ten to wound you. You can only do three wounds. And I Holy have four moly! Well, I guess I can't actually damage you here. But bam! I don't even do. I don't even wound you. Okay then. Uh, I guess then we're gonna tactician to chain activate with my berserker, and he's gonna spend two to charge your gothi. So he goes berserk. Bam! And goes berserk. Plus, plus one melee and plus one strength when this is all done because of the charge. So he's melee three, goes to four. What's your defense? Defense two. Okay, so I need to roll a six five. Okay, that'll do. So plus six God Spark. Uh, and then he is strength, he's got a great axe. So he's strength three plus 
One for the charge, plus, plus one, one for Berserk. Berserk. Strength and five. So straight dice roll, do yep. some damage here. And for every three I do a hit point. Uh, so that's a nine against a seven. So I got, that's right, so I do one wound, but I don't get to the second one because I didn't do three points of damage. You had to, you had to make it a, a terrifying test? Yeah, because you might have actually been uh, I have three mines, scary. which is terrifying. Terrifying one? Okay, so five. We're good. And that counter, a terrifying counter, you'd be minus to a bunch of your stats. But it was rolling. So back to you. If he's gonna go. Yeah, she's gonna use healer as the one AP. Give him one hit point. Stay like that. He's still prone, but now I know he's a uh, like awake. And then I'll hit you with my giant, giant killing stick, which does nothing against you except being a normal stick. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try and clash. I'm mine four. Try and climb drive no, four. You, yeah, drive. What's your drive? Drive three. So I need a six plus. And we're gonna get you, even just on one dice. And I beat it by two, so I get two more of this. Yep. Uh, and then I am still Berserk, which means I'm melee four against your defensive two. Try and mur murder you out. Your defense one, actually, right now. So, defense one, uh, melee four, that means I'm better than three. So, seven, six, five, four. So I'm gonna get six more. Uh, and I hit you, so I'm strength four again, because I'm still Berserk. And your yep. resistance is five. five. So now you need eight. Eight, eight's two damage. Nine. Yep, get, more. Did I kill him? Yep. No healer, which means he's toast, and that was my uh, fight. Now I'm unengaged, which means I think I go exhausted, or is it with it within um, range? Land of my activation, I'm out of combat. Basically, I become exhausted, but if I charge next turn, I'll be okay. So back to actually no, it's back to me. <laughs> well, let's go with this lady. She's gonna charge your Delia. Boop. Um, he is not defense down now, but you could try and clash if you want. No, he's prone, so I can't. Oh, he's clash. prone right now. Okay. So I just stood him up so I remember he's... Do I get any bonus to hit him when he's prone? I'm pretty sure. I'm looking for that charge. Well, I'm a Huskar, so I'm melee, I believe, three. Three, four for the charge. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that yet. So just wait a second. You can look at this one a second. I'm actually going to go with her. And she's going to use Godspark uh, to give herself touch of insanity. She's going to spend like a bajillion Godspark to do it. So she's going to make it touch of... Whatever it's called. Touch of... Uh, sorry, kneel, kneel before me. And she's gonna make it, I don't know, knock back 10. Or knock down 10. And I'm knocked out, I've got, a, I've got kneel before me, the kneel before me attack at knock back 10, and I'm gonna charge in and uh, slam in your boss. I really know your place, I've used uh, nine energy plus 10 energies for 19 uh, God Spark to make it a bajillion knockback. Actually, I don't even have to, I could just sit back at range and do this. Cause it's point blank, uh, and then plus six range for each one I spend. So yeah, I could just could, do it at range. I don't actually, you you need to charge you. You could do it twice. And I could do it twice, yeah. Actually, it's being better for me to charge and use this point blank, cause then I'll get the gang up bonuses and stuff to this attack, cause it doesn't specify it's a melee it's, or a, a range attack, and I can use it point blank. So I'm, I'm melee two, three cause I charged, and then I count as uh, four strength, five cause I have a shield right now? No, that's defensively. What? Well, cause you, it's just an attack. So you're just gonna go and it's knock back 10,000 10 right versus now, right. my mind too. That's right. So you don't have to worry about your strength or anything. It's just whether or not you touch me is what we're going. That's with. right. That's why I want the bonus to hit yeah. you basically. So you just What's your defense? Against, you're going to get plus nothing. Plus one from the charge. Plus one from the charge. Defense two. So three. So, or sorry, defense four. Okay, so defense four. Yeah. Okay. So plus one uh, melee for the outnumbering. Plus one for the charge. So melee four now, which means I'm going to need a seven plus to hit you. We got gotcha. you. Uh, and then I get guard spark for that because I beat it by one. And then it's knockback ten against your mind. Did you want to do the math? Do you save guard spark, or you just want to throw a pile at it? It doesn't matter. Right. I have so much guard. Fox turns. No, not fox. So he's knocked down. Then I'll tactician, and now I'll charge with this guy into him. Yep. I'm skilled plus one MA. So defense on a berserk or sorry, a husk girl is three. three. Uh, melee three, four for the charge, five for the knockdown. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna hit on uh, six fives. No, I miss. So we're all done. So it's back to you. Uh, I'm just gonna spend one to stand up. And one to whack your leader so that I don't get clashed anymore because it's not going well for me so far. So. Cool, now I could try and go first. No, because your leader already clashed my leader. That's true, I did, yep, yep, yep. That's why I'm not going after the one that just charged. Makes sense. It's the Husker, I'll eat one on that one. So, uh, I should do the math first. Is it uh, one inch melee for, for uh -huh. attacking? It depends on the weapon. Oh, okay. He Let's has one reach, so it's two. Oh, got it, okay. So, uh, but if you have ML, it's just... It's just ML. That's what I thought, because all my weapons are ML. Um, three. Defense... Attack three. Attack three, defense three down to two, because I clashed. So I get one... Uh, does the outnumbering affect that? Oh, Defensive bonus to being so. outnumbered. Three against resistance of four right now. Eight. 
Nine. Nine. So do one damage. One damage. All right. Well, we're gonna go uh, Berserker Town, and we're gonna charge, and go hit this Duder. I flash because there's no hope other one. Do it. I'm drive four. Bondi is not very good drive. Two. You'll be fine. Nines. No. Uh, so I'm melee three, four for the charge, five for berserk. Just one. Well, so I, I just plus <laughs> that's true. You did just stuck it. I feel like spirit. he closed his eyes and he called up the spirit. <laughs> so difference of four. So that means seven, uh, six, five, four, three. Yep. So three plus. Oh my god, it just hits you barely. Oh <laughs> and then I'm strength three, four for the charge. Resilient. For Berserk, sorry. Uh, resilience two. A three up, so four. You're dead. I'm pretty sure. Definitely dead. Super dead. Extra mega ultra dead. To you. Hi. Hey, I'm going to spend one AP to get up. Blah. Wait, I didn't, you didn't, didn't you already go because I clashed with me? No, you went first. And then you knocked me down with the thing. Then I have I clashed Then I already. clashed because your leader smacked the shit out of me. I actually haven't clashed yet, so you're gonna stand up then for an AP. I'm actually not gonna do that one. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have him go. Okay. And then he's just gonna charge. Sweet. Uh, no, we'll actually just walk over and attack. Sweet. Can so I still clash? I wanna make you? space. For, yeah, you still can. I just wanna make space for the element. One of them out of range. Uh, then you can't clash. Sweet. Because you, you, you point clashing if I can't hit you. Go ahead and try and stop me. Go get, go get him. Uh, oh. Defense bad, so you had appreciate me. Attack two. Uh, he's defense one. Uh, yeah, Berserker's defense one. So that's one over, so you need six, so I got three spark. Strength two, resilience three, so you need eight. Negative. Nope. Well, he's all done. Uh, I guess... We just try and shoot this thing with a bow? <laughs> just hum some arrows at him. Uh, so the first arrow is gonna be on a... So your defense one against my shoot of one, and you're enormous. Yeah. So, uh, so seven. sevens, and then I your resilience six, so I need tens to wound you. So sevens, nope. Try again, sevens, nope. He's all done. Back to you. Getting up. Yep. So one to get up. Doing stabs. Yep. Two. I'm gonna stab. I'm gonna go ahead, keep going after your arrow until I don't. I'll clash because I haven't actually clashed this turn. It was last turn. Um, and my drive is three. What's your drive? Drive is three. All right, so I need a sweet, sweet seven. We're gonna hit you, and I get two. Yep, two gods work. Two fun bucks for that. Um, so I might as well try and. Oh, can I do it again? Defense. I've got nine. Did you put it on him? Can I? Oh no, it's already on her. I can't yeah, do it again, can, can I? Yeah. Well, no. If you have the spark, you can cast it again on somebody else. That's, That's what I was gonna do. Yeah. Okay. And just, and just have him knock you down. We're gonna up it again because I didn't need to use all the god spark I used last time. I only need to use five to make it so you have turtle box cars. Um, and that means if I spend another fourteen, which I will, uh, it's gonna be knocked down bad again if I hit you. What's your defense? Defense four. Melee four uh, because of the friend. So it's gonna be on a four. I need a seven to hit you. I gotcha. Two more gods park. Roll box cars. Oh, so close. <laughs> Neil before Zod. That's fine. Maybe you're just gonna stand up again. Uh, Bonnie, go with the tactician? Yeah. We're just gonna walk over and poke that guy. Poke yeah. the berserker? Yeah. Just gonna make him mad. He can't clash with you because you're too far away. Poke. No. no. Well, this little lady's gonna go. And if she's within eight, which I'm pretty sure she is. Oh yeah, she's gonna charge that lady. Or this dude, the Bondi. Uh, you Get have to em. go a straight line. Oh, I have to go a straight line? Oh, okay. Should we make the tree go through? Uh, if I go through the tree, probably. It's eight? Yeah. No. Oh, do you have walk it. on wind? Oh, I or do. I could use that. No, but six. I don't have enough. Oh, okay. Walk across the snows for. But we're just going to do something else. We're going to walk five and use an AP to mark this as one of our territories. Elemental. We'll have you charge. Well, there you go. Now we'll clash. Two against drive four, so I need a pretty low number. And that's good enough, so... Yep. Oh jeez. Uh, yeah, so that's gonna be... Man, you rolling high is just killing me with all this spark. I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, so I needed a, a two different, so I needed a 765. So that's gonna be six more god spark. And I'm attack three goes to four because I'm berserk still. And what's your defense? Four. Defense four? Oh, defense one, sorry. Defense one, okay. So I need a uh, 654 again to hit you. Fours. That's four more god spark. And resilient six. What's your mind? My mind is yeah, you could do that. Zero. Zero? Okay. So we're gonna use Hold on. Okay. I better just make sure because I can't, I can't do Neil before Zog because I didn't I, I'm making I'm already making a melee attack. What's your resistance? Six? He's steady and sure footed. Uh yeah. No, you can interrupt any time with Godspark. So. But I can't change the attack I'm making. I'm making a melee attack right now. I wouldn't uh, I, I couldn't I, I couldn't so. change it to a Neil before Zod attack, which would be super trolly and amazing. But um 
the uh, the hit is gonna be strength three, four, because I'm berserk. Nine, Samunja. Gotcha, we're wound. It's five horrifying wounds. Nice, right, so <laughs> okay. he's gonna melee attack, which is your defense. You clash, so it's down one. Yeah, so defense zero. Alright, so up four, so three, uh, charge two, heavy charge one. Sweet. Hey, look, you hit me. Yeah, but I got eight God Spark. That's the oh, idea. yeah, yeah. You're gonna get eight. <laughs> and then I am armor. Sorry, resilience two? It's three. It's a difference of four. So you need a six, five, four, three. Pummel him. Well, that'll do, pig. Uh, so four more God Spark. No, no, no God Spark. Uh, it's four. And then. I rolled a seven. You rolled a seven. So that's two ones. <laughs> Two wounds. He only has two wounds. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to instantly use God Spark to make her a healer. Six God Spark. She'll have the heal ability. It'll go away at the end of the round, but it means he'll just go to to knock down. Yep. Blur. So you just got to make sure you're close enough. And then because he has Bull Rush, his charge is actually only one, so he's going to stomp for it. Cool. All right, uh, back to me. I only have anybody left. I'm done. It's all you, man. All right. So I just had your last Bondi. And the Bondi. Yeah. <coughs> Just he's move gonna, and stab. He's gonna walk around to there. Oh, oh! And, and make then the because I've got it, he's gonna use frenetic bird blades. Two. Oh, no. Six, seven. I have uh, done a uh, strike back, so I'm minus defense. Not gonna do frenetic bird blades. Okay. So you're gonna stab with your second AP. Yep, yeah, we're gonna stab the berserk. This one. Okay, she can't strike back because you're out of uh, melee with her. I believe That'll I leave. just hit. She's defense down by one right now, so her normal defense for a Huskarl is... Uh, three goes to two. Yeah, so even, so that's two God Spark. And one God Spark? Or one God Spark, yep. sorry. You rolled eight. And strength two. She's armor leathers, so three. Uh, so I needed an eight, so one Got damage. One extra God Spark? No, not for damage, sorry. Not, no God Spark for that. And she takes damage and goes down to one. Close End phase. Yeah, he's within six of her, so he's not going to die. Within six is whatever your healing is. Oh, I'm healed seconds. twelve, so yeah, yeah I'm good so, then. All right, so that's done. That's the end phase. You want to roll for the monster? So all now right, so now on a six, we get the hell snake. The hell snake shows up. Okay, give me a sweet six. Show him, come on, hell snake. Yeah, all right. All right, hell snake's here. So we roll the dice for where it shows up, and it comes and fights the avalanche monster. D six for where it's going to show up. Three. Three. The encounter will deploy anywhere along the table edge to the left of the rolling player. So I rolled. It's over here. Hooray! Hello, everyone. Let's go. Over here. Next up, Bondi. He's within seven. Sorry. He's going to charge. Yep. So Hell Snake charges. Eat that Bondi. He's got reach, so he doesn't need to go to base. So. Okay. And then uh, eat somebody? Yep. So who wants to roll for him? Okay. You can roll for him. All right. So bites two against my defense two. He's charging for three. So he missed. missed. So that's all he gets. Hell Snake he unimpressively not eating a bond. Three rolls his drive because he's fast. He's reactive. Reactive. He's a high pain threshold. I have nothing to score in the end phase. I also have nothing to score so in the end phase. So we're on to three. Now do more monsters show up potentially? Well, that, that's the option. We stop or we Ooh. like to just keep it going. Just keep it going, man. Make it crazy. Uh, and so we're on round three and let's see who's going first. Is you all day. I go. I was going to go. Wander Lost, God's Work Ability, costs yeah. you... Seven. Okay. That's going to change my move to Teleport Four. Oof. Teleporting away. And I'm not going to boost it. Okay. So. And then I will take one AP, uh, AP with the Huskarl, or the uh, Jarl, and move to there, just so I don't catch my own guys. When I do uh, Frenetic Burr of Blades, and give myself an Architect. Sweet. What's the reach for it? Uh, it makes my attacks gain melee arc and rapid attack. Cool. So, but I can only afford to activate one of those. So now I'm going to attack your uh, Jarl. Okay. And I'm assuming you're going to clash. Um, so it means that my two AP are going to become three on this attack now. So I'm going to get three shots at you. I have zero chance of killing you. Making the attack roll worse is probably still better. Stand the defense. All right, so... Three shots for the two AP I'm using. Cool. So shot number one, melee five. Defense three. So fives. Hits yep. by two. So I get two. And then I'm defense five. Or should I resilience five? Strength five. Nothing. Attack two. Mm, yes, defense I three. Up, I was up two. Yep. So it's 
I needed a five, so that gets me one. Yep. And no damage. No damage. Last one. Is it ever? Hits by threes, three more. And then sevens, two. So three damage. Three damage. Three damage. I go to three, and that'll lock me out, but I'm gonna spend six to just make him be downed. And we'll give her a healer. Yep. Yeah. Tactician. And Tactician the Hoskow, yep. Yeah, I'm gonna give him Phonetic Bird Blades. And then I'm going to attack this one. Okay, Murder Clash. Drive two. It's timid. That That's was right. The timid. Oh, I'm drive three. So uh, six plus, so I'll go first. I do. Um, that's going to be plus four drive, or sorry, plus four god spark. And then uh, my melee is three. What's your defense? Defense three. Three. So I had sevens. Got you with a nine, so two more god spark. Defense five. Uh, great weapon for three, which means I need an eight, nine. Bam! Down you go. Uh, you don't have the six to make anybody a healer either. Oof. Well, you can only get rescued once by a healer. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So. Okay. Well, down they went. Um, and I guess we go with. Yeah, I got a point for the, putting somebody down with the champion. Oh. You get three. Actually, you get four for dropping him. Four. So you go to four. Right. To my three. The skull, she's currently a healer. She's going to heal this guy. Yep. So have one. him stand up for one. Uh, and then she's going to heal this guy over here because it's range 12. And have him stand up. Oh, sorry. He, uh, he's wounded but knocked down. Yeah, we'll tactician the boss and have him charge this guy. Flash. Makes sense. Uh, no, probably not. Okay. Because uh, I'm drive three. Yep. So I need to do this. Okay. So I'm melee three goes to four for the charge. Uh, I guess one. your defense one. I got you just. So that was the defense one against three. It's a difference of uh, two. So three. Uh, sorry, melee four right now because I charged. Yeah. So, so four, uh, four. So I got two God Spark from that. And then I'm strength three with the Ulfbert. Four for the charge. What's your resilience? Resilience two. Uh, so seven, six, five. That's seven. So that's just dead. Yeah. That's gonna. I'm on the platform again. So it's gonna score me three more. So I go to six. Sorry, you got three as well for knocking me down on the platform. So you're at seven actually right now. Yep. You get a bonus of three, yep. Sorry, put all plus two bonus here at six as well. Because it's four for getting the champion with the champion, and then plus two for being on the, the thing. Back to you. It's Maros. Dishonor stuff's for the birds. So. <laughs> you gonna shoot her? Um, no, I'll shoot your leader. Shoot the boss? Okay. Yeah. Defense of Better make sure. Two, three. I'm sure I'm fine there. Yeah, 18, so it's long range. So defense three goes to four because you're at long, basically. I don't think I used him all last turn. So he took a break. So. <laughs> He's been sharpening his bow. <laughs> yep. Uh, range three versus your defense of what? Uh, defense of three. Yep. So, so, so two. Were you over yeah. half? Does over half over make a half difference? Over half knocks my range down one. So you're ranged three instead of two? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so one, just one less gods You still hit me for sure. And then damage three against five. So you need a eight, nine. Nope. One more time. Yes. We're the same, no. You need a seven, yeah. Yeah, because the range is seven. Well then, uh, it is time to just run like hell, I think. Well, uh, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be rough. If you kill the house, you can do. hire it. If I kill this house, thing, I can hire it. But I'm, 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 the problem is I'm knocked down right now, which means I'm gonna lose an action next turn anyway, because I'm gonna be not be engaged. Well, actually, I can just walk over and engage somebody. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stand up and then just walk over to gauge this fool. Not make any swings, but I can always clash against him. I mean, he killed me once. I might kill him again. Yeah, he's easy to clash. And he's got a wound right now too. Mr. Earth Elemental. Yep. Well, let's clash, man. Let's do it. And I. Drive two. Holy I moly! It. Supplies. What is that? Like four or five times? It's a bunch <laughs> of times. Yeah. So I was. I was on a five plus. I get seven more. Ugh. Uh, so I'm gonna use that to do some super sweet knockdown. So three, six to kneel before Zod. What's your mind? Zero. Zero. So I'll add four to make it knock down four. And what's your defense? Defense one. Melee three, four because I'm berserk. Ha! Uh, so I hit you with a bajillion things. Uh, so, uh, four against one is three different, which means I needed a six, five, four. So four my size, five more Godspark. And then it's damage four right now against your mind of one. 
So yeah. minus zero? We did we did that one. I gave you the knockdown power, right? Yeah, knockdown four. Because like, right I was now. reading my rule that I get a bonus size, so when you do knockdown, it's against the size of the model. Oh, okay. Not so what's your, what's your size? My size is four, but that's why I just realized that. It says I'll use when targeted is push, pulled, or knocked down, yep. this model gains plus two to its size. It's okay, so I'm, I'm going to spend my, I'm gonna, I just gained four. I'm going to spend the last three to make it knock down seven again. Yep. So now you're six. You need an eight to do this, to resist it. No, nope. so you're knocked down. And you spend your last AP standing up if you want? Yep. Okay. Really so my Berserker's not engaged, and he was not engaged last round, which no, you, means... You got it my bondy over here with the clash oh that's right so I did yeah, yeah you're this right. round if you don't get engaged, if i don't get engaged yeah, i'll so. be exhausted after this but i'm actually not going to i'm just gonna run actually sorry i'm gonna spend an ap marking this platform on because then you're half and then i'm going to spend an ap i guess engaging you no it's just gonna give you more to do i just need to leave now <laughs> one, two, three. Do you run i'm gonna run down to here yeah, yeah let's turn I'm just go down there. Bonnie's gonna go. Yep. Fight the snake. Oh, Drive that snake. It's gonna clash you because it's amazing at clashing. Drive good. Eight. Drive three versus my two. That did it. Okay. It doesn't earn me any god spark though. No. This is just him biting me. So I'm gonna leave four against my defense two. It needs a five. It gets a oh. five. And then uh, strength two. Against your resilience. My resilience two. Two. So okay. It's so poisonous. It needs so. a seven. Doesn't get it. Good, that's four down to three now. I still need a seven. You got it. I need eight, three more Gunsberg. Two. two more Gunsberg. Uh, and then strength two, resilience three. Oh, nice. Nicely uh, done. I think I did two wounds there. Probably, how many wounds does it have? Three, damn it. All right, back to me. Yeah, that was two. Okay. Uh, uh, he's gone. What's your first stack? He's okay. a clash. Well, you want to go again, you can. Yeah, that was a clash. Yeah, okay, well, got second it. Second EP. There we go. Uh, okay, Perfect. then we're going to get out of the proverbial dodge and just go 10. 8 and then 2. Back to here. Charge your Husker. Going in, but of course I can't clash because I don't have the range. Oh wait, I can because I can clash with my throwing dagger. Ha ha! Something like that. Uh, drive. What's your drive? Uh, two. Mine's three, so six will get it. And then I don't earn any God's Mark for that. But I have my throwing dagger. I'm range of... Attack two, what's your defense? Uh, two. Two, okay. Well, let's see if we can hit you. So seven plus to hit you. Oh, he's going to get some God Spark. And then two. it's only strength one against two. So what do I have to roll here to kill you? I have to roll a uh, you have 12? To roll an 11. 11 will kill him. 11 plus. You've done all the boxcars. Be the hero we need, I'm retreating if you 11 or me. more. Oh. Ah, I missed. <laughs> <laughs> You've been so mad at me. Uh, oh, I hit. You hit, yep. I actually, I don't know. Uh, Defense three. Back two. Defense two right now. Defense two. So straight up, you get two more. And then armor five. Any really high. Not nope. that high. Try again? Yep. No. Even, yep. And then again? Like a nine. Ten. Five. It'll do one. Uh, you have two on you. Down you go. Down you go. Permanently. Boop. Minor I have no way of scoring now, so I just gotta run away. We're just gonna go and we're gonna run around eight and two. I'm gonna touch this. Uh, then we're going to just, I guess, run like hell. Ten and two. Remember to hit. Round three goes to four, so let's see if we get another monster. Ray. We do not. On a turn four. And no Gigante. So let's see who's going first, unless you want to bugger out. You want to leave? No, I have to do it at the end of the turn. Okay. Uh, I'll do one more turn. You're going first. The Earl. I'm assuming I'm going to get clashed, but I'm going to whack you with my Ulfbert. Uh, my magic Ulfbert with strength. I can't hurt you, and I can't knock you down, because I don't have the God Spark to do this. Fine. So, man. yeah, we're just, we're just going to... The thing is, I could... No, it's fine. Just go for it. Do your thing. All right. So Make the stabs. Whack, I'm pretty sure. Defense two. Five. So, yeah, three over. So Defense three. Right, so, so two over. With one, get one God's work for that? Two uh, over, two over is one. Two yep. over is one, yeah. And then I'm uh, defense, two goes to three for leathers. Yep, five, so two over, so five to one. Nothing. Second one, fives and fives, so one. Fives and fives, so one wound. One attack, hits, you get so, uh, five uh, God's work, and, and one more wound. One more wound, I'm dead. Uh, I'll spend six to make him a healer, I guess. 
Actually, it doesn't matter because that earns you another four, three, sorry. You got a nine. Addition to the bonding. Um, no, I'm the Earth Elemental. Okay, go for it. I'm gonna do my damage before you do it. Clashing me again? Yep. I smacked the Berserker. So okay. Clash. Uh, clashing. Not very high. That'll do it. That'll do it. I'm gonna earn your two. Yep. So I'm gonna earn. I need a five, so I'm gonna get five gods for that. Oh, that's sweet, sweet knockdown. <laughs> so I, it's at, wow. Actually, it's not that good though. Yeah, I'm size it's, six. Your I size? No, your size. Your size eight. No, I'm four, so I'm six with. Oh, the you're four six with the thing. Okay, but it's it's gonna cost me nine to activate. I can make myself knock down two. That's so three. It's like it's still a three plus. It's still snake eyes for you to fail. So there's no point in me doing this. I'm just gonna try and hit you. Do a wound maybe. Yeah, six wounds though. Uh, now nah, we'll activate it. What the hell? Why not? Nine. Make it knock back two. Maybe I get more God Spark and juice it up. Yeah, easy, mm, to hit. easy to hit. Gotcha. So I'm gonna earn three. No, your defense one. Yep, defense one. So that's gonna be seven, six, five, four. Which means I'm gonna get five God Spark from that, and then knock down two, three. Sorry. So up three, so fours. Down he goes, and then get back up. Done. Oh! Done. Yeah, last action. Oh, we forgot for the, the snake to go and try and eat this last Bondi. Snake misses. Okay. And then he hits big with the next one. Kicks the snot out of me. And does seven? seven. Is that one wound? Strength two. Okay, That's one wound. And toxin. And what's toxin do? Five. All right, so you've got strength and RA stuff. I'm poisoned, so at the end of the turn, I will end up being getting a chance to get rid of it. So Got I'm it. negative a bunch. Got it. Well, it's over to me now, yeah? Yep. New turn, you just did him. That guy's gonna go again at the end of the game. Oh, what do we wanna do? I think we go with her. Oh, she's bleeding out right now. Oh, you just killed her. She's gone, why is she even still there? Oh, cause you put healer, no you didn't. No, I didn't, I didn't bother doing it. She's okay. just dead. Um, mm, we're just gonna go over here, and we're gonna mark this tree as being our friend. Mr. Bonnie's gonna go. Yeah, he'll charge and stop. That's our melee. Middle of the stairs. So. Okay. Oh. I can't clash you because obviously problems clashing. I missed. Sweet. Well, we're gonna go with Arrow Lady. She's gonna walk over here and she's gonna mark this guy for death. I can't do it to the snake because he's an encounter model. Could you go over and do well, it? Well, let's just go over and do this guy then. Yeah. Hello. Now you are the one who is marked for death. Your bow guy. There's nothing to shoot at. So he's just gonna run right around super fast. Because he is fast. Where's the bell train? Oh, yeah, he just climbed the stairs. Oh. Back there a little bit. Cool. Uh, well, then we're just gonna charge this guy. Whoop. Hello, you. Let us fight. Actually, can't charge, but I can move into melee and then stab you. Well, no. Your defense so, two. Plus one. I'm, you're overwhelmed and uh, I have a friendly model. So plus one, plus two, or just plus one? Plus one strength and plus one melee. Okay. It's so just one stab. Melee four. I'm going to hit you with an extra god spark, and then strength three goes to four. You're dead. And that's a Mark and X scroll objective. Uh, you're done. I've got this guy left. I guess he attacks you twice. I could do three attacks because of flurry of blows. Yeah. Two AP to get three shots. Two, two AP and I get to make three melee attacks against this guy. You want to try clash. and clash? Okay, I'm drive four. I'm not good at it. Drive one. Difference of three, that will not do it. So oh your no. defense, defense zero. One to zero. Defense zero, I'm gonna get some God Spark right now, oh my God. Um, I still have the, until the end of the round, do I have the God Spark action? Yeah, it's an attack on your profile. So you I can it. knock you down again with the first one if I want, which I will. You, you're just, you're choosing whether you want to hit me for damage or hit me for uh, Do I get bonus, I get bonus strength when I attack you on the crowd. You so doing me down. That's what I'm saying, so knocking you down first makes sense, right? Because uh, I still have that activated on him. So I'm going to do that. My first attack's going to be you melee. Plus, you get plus one to melee if I'm on the ground. So. No, it's not strength. Well, we're just going to, we're just going to go for like swinging a bunch of times then. Because knocking you down is not going to make me any stronger. I'm already strength three. Uh, four for Berserk. I'm already wildly easy to hit. And you're wildly easy to hit anyway, so because yeah, your defense zero, so I'm hitting you on uh, six, five, four, three. So I think with snake eyes. Uh, so there you go. I get five more God Spark, and I'm strength four against defense of six. So resilience of six. Uh, yep, resilience six. Ugh, okay, <laughs> so resilience six. I need a uh, nine plus. Nope. Try again. And I earn another four God Spark. 
And then nine plus the damage. Ah, I got you, but I didn't Second quite move. get two wounds because that's only an 11, right? So I need nine, 10, 11, 12 to Did do two you, wounds. You give somebody else an extra elf shard, didn't you? Nope, but they just got regular ones. Okay. The next one hits for six more. Godspark, because why not? And then nine plus, I need to get black scars to do two wounds. Oh, it's so close. You have to three. Turns, yeah, the uh, snake's going to attack. We're going after closest, so there's one that's base and one that's yep. reach. So after the base one. Oh, lady. Uh, she'll try and clash. Yep, uh, drive three. Yeah, might as well. Drive three. Yep. That's going to do it. So I'm drive three as well. Defense four against my melee of Here's three. Shot. I put all the wounds on him for you. Hiya! We got him by one. Yep, so resilience three. You gotta and do one wound. I gotta do one wound, resilience three. I am currently strength two because I have a hand weapon, so I did eight. Oh, wow. So it attacks me. That, that wasn't. Oh, right. No, it still attacks me back. It hits. Attack three. And then does not damage me. Let's see what against resilience three right now. You need an eight. Uh, and that means you're gonna retreat? I'm going to. Okay. I might have some people not make next, next game. And That's I already fair. played a format. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, you're gonna retreat. That means that um, you're gonna score, because you have more praise than me right now. Yep. You're at nine, I'm at six. You're gonna score three for that. You don't get extra though. Uh, so you have three VPs for the primary. Did you get any secondaries? Nope, they're all about killing you, because I thought it'd be easier. Ugh. All right, so. I'm going to score Conquer Territory because I have three marked pieces of territory for one, which will put me at one VP, and then I'm going to score Marked for Death for two VPs. So it's two to three at the end of all of this because I got my two secondaries. Yep. So I'm also, we actually should have had three. The other one I was trying to take was Hold Your Ground, which means no enemies are my half of the table at the end of the game. Um, if I get that one, uh, I didn't get it though because you had your Archer Man here. Uh, and the Earth Elemental. Now you decided to flee though, which we don't really know how that impacts the game because I don't think you can score a bunch of VP and then run away. No, we've been doing that because we had to uh, get uh, go on Facebook to answer that. Okay. It's automatically a major victory for you. Okay, cool. So. We're in the post game uh, where we're going to see who who's, who lives and who dies. VP, you're going to get 20 glory. So you got three, which is going to give you 60. I got two, which is going to give me 40. Then what? For every encounter model you kill during the scenario, you get 10 glory. None. So we killed none, so no, no glory for that. Uh, first 10 players in the campaign get 10 glory per war clan rank difference. Okay. Yep. It's 60, I believe. So 60 because you're 6 war clan rank difference. So I'm going to go from 20 to 80. And then what else do we earn? Do we earn for kills? It's going to be 80 to 20 at the end of it all for uh, the ranks difference that we played plus um, the victory points that we earned. All right, so Naughty Rolls, Hood and the Scald both got knocked out. That's my only models that got knocked out so far this game, though, because everybody else got, got bled back because Odin willed it. So now on a 2-3, I'm dead. They lose improvements, equipment, artifacts, but then they just come back to life, basically, with you, nothing. You, 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 you yeah. get reborn. Uh, four to five, severe wound, miss the next game. Uh, D6, lose all equipment, artifacts on a one, roll severe injury. And then six, miss the next game. Seven, presumed dead, mix the next game, but count as survivor for rating. And eight plus a full recovery. So for HUD, he's going to be severe wounds, so miss the next game. And a D6 on a one, I lose all my equipment, artifacts, uh, on a, and then a roll for severe injury. Uh, one, so I lose all my equipment artifacts. Yay, and then roll for severe injury. Severe injuries are here. Six, spinal injury, minus one defense. I need to get fired and rehired immediately, I guess. And then uh, the Scald, she rolls a five, which is severe wounds. On a one, she gets robbed. She gets robbed as well. And then my severe injury, nine plus, timid, minus one drive. Rolls for you. Who got, who got knocked out? Three Bondies. Oh, jeez. It's okay, I don't like them. That's, so, fine. That's fair. Party number one. Totally recovered. Bonnie number two. And number two, they're all exactly the seven same. Seven plus, he's just going to be a raider for the next game. He's presumed dead. Uh, eight, seven, eight plus for that guy. Totally fine. They're always great. They're always great. And then and the now, important ones. Matter, this is where it goes down. Huskarl. Huskarl, who was timid last time. Three, died. dead. He's just dead. Loses all equipment artifacts. Oh, that's my favorite model. And then your other one. My gothy. Seven, he's presumed dead. So missing for the next game. And See, it is good for the next game. <laughs> uh, it's treasure time. We go raiding, basically. Roll d66, plus one per 100 glory received. So, uh, so no plus ones for either of us, because neither of us got plus 100 glory. So when you go, when you go raiding, basically, you. your surviving members, their total glory cost are, are what go off raiding and stealing stuff, and that's how many rolls you get on the table. So you always get one, plus one per 100 glory that are, are still around, basically, on the table. So uh, we've got... 
minus 260 minus 85 so my for extra full 100 glory that's going to be plus 400 so i'm going to get five rolls in the table healer's kit so i'm going to change cool. my three i have a healer's kit yep. so i'm going to use my take my three dead and make it a four severely injured sweet what happens to this injury? You lose all his stuff. It's 2d6. Oh, you did lose all your stuff and then 2d6. Four. four. Shattered arm minus one melee Jeez. action. My four rolls on the d66 table. I'll use blue as high. Uh, and the first one's going to be 23. I get 15 glory and an item. I get 41. Sorry, 42. A magic item. 44. I get. 10 glory and a magic item, so now I'm at 25 glory, two magic items, and a piece of gear. Last one, 62, I get a legendary item. All right, 82, I get a usable item. I find 66, legends and rumors. It cost me 20, which I'm, I might as well do. Uh, nope. Oh no, there's no cost when I find That's it? That's the cost, because it's gonna add to your warband ranking. Oh, I see, okay. So having that gotcha. in your group costs you 20. It cost me 20. Rory discovers the key to finding a lost treasure scroll in a discarded animal skin. Um, during the raid phase, remove Legends and Rumors from the Warrior's equipment list to add two to the raid roll table. That's cool. Magic items. The first one's going to be a 13, which is enchanted leathers. Sweet. And the second one is a 24, which is enchanted sling stones. Now, I found one legendary item, but I got to re roll it if it's something you guys already have. So, which ones do you guys already have? Grindon Voller. Mm, Grindon Voller, yep. So seven, That's I threw the one. I got, so. Sweet. All right. So let's see what we got. We found Grin and Volar. All right, let's try again. <laughs> ha! Six. The Girdle of Brynhildr. Someone else in the campaign has that one already. So let's roll again. And find the Girdle again. Let's find the Girdle again. Let's find the five. The Regan Snaggler. Somebody has that. Uh, so he steals notes of god nails, may cause the most may not cause the most damage possible, but they use the fracture realms as widespread. When struck by one of these spikes, your warrior cannot use any god powers to be affected by friendly god powers until they remove them. Uh, to do so your warrior must not be engaged in melee combat and must spend two AP to painfully remove the jagged bronze spike from their body. Or you can only be affected by them one at a time. Alright, so at, at the end of all of this, we're spending most of my gold just buying back all the equipment I just lost. Um, so I'm gonna give the leathers that were on my uh, my um, Lady who now has enchanted leathers <laughs> my, uh, to, to the Scald. And we'll buy her a hand weapon for 10. Um, and then we have to buy back my Oofbert, my heavy armor, my shield, which is another 85. And that means 95 of the 105 that I earned is gonna go away. And I'll have 10 left. And then Ben gets 10 rolls on the equipment table because he has like a bajillion points left alive when he runs away. And uh, even the guy that was almost dead counts as being alive for raiding. At the end of all this, what did you find? You got 10 rolls. I got 25 glory in total. I got my frenetic blur blades went down one because I rolled it again as a new god card. Okay. So, so it's a little easier. It gets a little easier to, to take And then the I use. got shackles of judgment with it. I got an enchanted plus one strength throwing spear. And then a spear, a throwing dagger, and a great weapon. Sweet. So all kinds of gear that you just find lying on the ground. I mean, I at least one of those hand weapons is probably mine. <laughs> Because <laughs> I lost all my equipment. I found your stuff. So. Found my stuff, found somebody's stuff, just lying on the ground. Um, and then, there you go. So you got a whole bunch more gear to play with. So uh, that's it. So I'm missing the next game with these two. Um, although you're going to see a game against two different warbands probably coming up in two weeks. And then these folks can go in the next adventure. You can, in uh, addition to buying weapon, you can also buy glory for stat improvements. I had to spend all of mine to just uh, get back their stuff. If you wanted, you could spend some glory to get some stats up. Are you going to do that? Uh, I'll have to look at it, but probably, okay, since cool. I'm not playing next. Time. That's fair, all right. Uh, my wounds. <laughs> he ran away and found all kinds of stuff. Alright, so we go. Our first look at Ragnarok, the heavy metal game of combat. You ran away but won the post game, as usually happens. Yeah, but, I don't know. You're like a starting warband, and I'm like six games in. <laughs> well, we also realized we probably got the knockdown thing wrong, because there we didn't realize there was no prohibition for making attacks after you're knocked down. Now you're significantly worse at attacking when you're knocked down. Like you're minus two to make range. You're minus two to melee and minus one to range, something like that. It's it's hard to fight when you're prone. But actually all those times that I knocked you down, you did still get to try and swing against me. It's just harder to do because you're you're prone basically at that point. It makes it easier for you to hurt too. Um, so you did still get the attack and then would have stood up if, with your uh, your elemental who could have potentially killed my death dealer. And then same with your boss that one time I knocked him down. Yeah. He came from knockdown so you did have to stand up for the first one. Then he made an attack. It would have resolved with him knocked down and then you could have stood up for the last one on top of that. Yeah, we just assumed it interrupted. Yeah. Yes, we assumed the knockdown was knocked down. <laughs> Too many games. <laughs> Too many games. It's, sorry, 
We assumed it wasn't. It's Dark Age Knockdown. Not, yeah. not. It's because Dark Age Knockdown is the same thing. I've actually had that happen now in retrospect, and it, I should have known this because Tim wrote the game. Um, where I think my Saint Mark got knocked out at one point, and then just chains all the legs off of everything in the like, game after after that, just from prone for the rest of the game. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that look at Ragnarok Heavy Metal Combat. There's a um, expansion, first expansion coming out soon uh, called The Vanir, which adds some new God Sparks, some new characters you can hire, and all kinds of other new stuff, monsters and things too, um, which you can check out on Osprey.com. So, hope you enjoy that. We'll see you from us. Big thanks for Ben coming in, you guys for watching. Thanks on Ash. Have a great night. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.